So here we are with the Barnet Boxing Barber. We're here with Chris Twynham. Chris. Yep. You are the current holder of the IBC Super Middleweight Championship. I am, yes. Yeah. Uh, I beat Chris Massey in November, a six rounds fight, uh, to regain my title, yeah. That's an impressive record in, in unlicensed because 16 and 1. Yeah. You know, you've been to these shows, you know, it, it, it doesn't rattle your cage when you come to something like this. You're taking it all in your stride. What are you expecting from this guy tonight? Uh, it's, I've seen him, he's got, he looks like he's got a good amateur background. Uh, he's in and out, but I'm going to close him down and hopefully stop him, uh, to be honest. Yeah, it's just another day to, for me. To for a super middleweight, you're looking lean and you're looking bang on for that weight. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm guessing you're about 5'9", 6 foot. Uh, just yeah, just under six foot, yeah. Six foot, and you know, how old are you? Thirty-six. Thirty-six, yeah. and you're still getting up for this game, yeah, right, and you're yeah. you're still getting fresh, where you're getting you, you got more belts than top man by the looks of it. <laughs> That's it, yeah, yeah, still looking fresh, still fighting. I'm, I'm the best I've ever been, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, I'm only getting stronger. Yeah. I don't know much about you, apart from obviously 16 and 1. You're the current holder of a couple of belts. You know, I'm guessing you've been around the sport a long time, been in the gyms. What's your story? Well, I was uh, I fought Muay Thai pro professionally. Uh, I fought British and then I fought for a European title as well. Mm. And then I went over to boxing. Mm. So, yeah, I'm in the boxing game now. It's not, not as many injuries, so... What was the transition like? Because obviously I was talking to Mo down in Swindon and I, I was asking him about, you know, f does he have to really physically try to keep his feet down or, you know? Yeah, he's always giving me shit. Uh, yeah, because I've been used to obviously just bouncing around. Yes. It's, it's getting me to plant my feet now, yeah. uh, in and out, punching harder. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been hard, to yeah. be fair. But yeah. I was just say... Uh, yeah, it's been worth it, and I believe I'm the best. I'm the best super middleweight on the scene mm. in, in across the country. Yeah. There's no one better than me. When did you know that this fight had been made for you here in Salisbury tonight? Uh, I got told about four months ago, five okay. months ago. Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to fight someone else, uh, but uh, it got changed. The opponent got changed. It doesn't matter to me. To be fair, it is what it is. You sound like you're up for it. Whereabouts? Yeah. Where did you like? Where were you brought up most of your life? Where are you from? Uh, in Eton, so the Midlands in Eton. I've uh, been brought up, uh, and basically I, I trained at a gym called Combat, and then I moved to Neil Neil Tidman, uh, and it's yeah, it's really pushed me on now. Okay, well, I know not eating really well actually, because I used yeah. to go to the Millennium Nightclub there oh, back yeah, in the day, yeah, yeah, and it was Madison's <laughs> before that. So yeah, I'm a lot older than you. I can remember these sort of things. But I was from uh, near Hinckley, Leicestershire, yeah. uh, from Leicester, and then Hinckley, and I used to come over to Nuneaton. So I'm guessing Nuneaton, there's a lot of lads to spar with, a lot of gyms to go to. Yeah, we down well down Bulco, we've probably got the best sparring. Uh, it ain't for the faint-hearted. Mm. You know what I mean, it's proper. Mm. It's out, out sparring, proper sparring. Mm. But yeah, we've got some good lads. We yeah, say so we've got some good pros in our gym as well. So yeah. yeah, we've got some real good lads to spar. So being a guy in his 30s, you must get a lot of the young lads come in the gym, and you know they want a gym war with you and they want to have a go. I mean, yeah. what what are you like when they come in the gym and they want to do some sparring? Do you do you get excited it depends, by it? It, it? All depends. Obviously, with us, we're a team. If we get someone else come out from uh, it's not in the bulko connection or tight circle, yeah, we have it. Mm. You know what I mean? We have it. You know what yeah. I mean? No, it's really good to meet you, and I know you, you sound like you're up for it, and, yeah, yeah. and, and that's great. It's great for, for this yeah. level of boxing, and it's good for the people watching. So, you know, enjoy your belts. Cheers, I hope man. you do well tonight, and like and subscribe for more interviews like okay, this. Guys. And, uh, you know, all, all the best to you, Chris. Cheers, Cheers mate. mate. Thank you. Nice one. Cheers.